Dear friends, this video is about Biodiversity Act. First, let us see some of the definitions. Biological diversity is the variability among living organisms from all sources and the ecological complexes in which they are part and includes diversity within species or between species and of ecosystems. Biological resources means plants, animals, microbes or parts thereof, their genetic material and byproducts like uh, excluding value added products with actual or potential use or value but does not include human genetic material. Commercial Utilization it means end use of biological resources for commercial utilization like drugs, industrial enzymes, food flavors, uh, fragrance, cosmetics, emulsifiers, oleoresins, colors, extracts and genes used for improving crops and livestock through genetic intervention but does not include conventional breeding or traditional practice in use in any agriculture, horticulture, poultry, dairy farming, animal husbandry or beekeeping. Sustainable use means use of component of biological diversity in such a manner and at such rate that does not lead to the decline of biological diversity thereby maintaining its potential to meet the needs and aspirations of present and future generations cultivar it means a variety of plant that has originated and persisted under cultivation or was specially bred for the purpose of cultivation folk variety it is cultivated variety of plant which was developed grown and exchanged informally among farmers Land race, a primitive cultivar that was grown by ancient farmers and their successors. Biodiversity heritage sites that should include both wild and domesticated biodiversity and human cultural relations with such biodiversity. Biodiversity Act, it is all about conservation and effective utilization of biological diversity in the country. Himalayas are the majestic range of mountains, the home of diverse range of flora and fauna. In eastern Himalayas, that is one of the two biodiversity hotspots in India. As such, if we see, there are two major biological diversity, but when the biological diversity hotspots are considered among the world, there are four main biological or biodiversity hotspots in India. Chilkas, this wetland area is protected under the Ramsar Convention. Sundarbans, it is the largest mangrove forest in the India in India. Western Ghat is one of the two biodiversity hotspots. Thar Desert, the climate and vegetation of this area is a contrast to the Himalayan range. Convention on Biological Diversity the convention is founded on the principle that local communities generate and are dependent on biodiversity and should continue to benefit from them. It was signed in 1992 at UN Conference on Environment and Development that is UNCED in Rio de Janeiro entered into force on 29th December 1993. More than 170 countries and presently 175 countries signed for this. India became a signatory to the Convention of Biological Diversity on 5th June 1992. The main objectives were conservation of biological diversity, sustainable use of components of biodiversity, fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of the utilization of genetic resources. In the context of 
biodiversity act and related diversity conventions or uh, any of the programs on this aspects the year of establishment then their main objectives as well as the member countries holds importance the sections of biological diversity act in the chapter 1 preliminary terminologies and definitions are given in chapter 2 regulations of access to biological diversity chapter 3 establishment of national biodiversity authority chapter 4 function and powers of national biodiversity authority chapter 5 approval by the national biodiversity authority for understanding certain activities that is transfer of biological resources or associated knowledge in chapter 6 establishment of state biodiversity board chapter 7 finance accounts and audit of national biodiversity authority chapter 8 finance accounts and audit of state biodiversity authority chapter 9 duties of the central and state government chapter 10 constitution of state biodiversity management committee chapter 11 local biodiversity fund and chapter 12 miscellaneous sections likewise there are total 12 chapters related to bda coming to structure of biodiversity act there are three tier system one is national biodiversity authority that requests for access by foreign individuals institutions or companies and uh, transfer of results of research to any of the foreigner is related to this then uh, state biodiversity board this is for access by indians for commercial purpose and the indian industry provide about the use of biological resources then uh, biodiversity management committee that is for institutions of local self government conservation sustainable use and documentation of biodiversity etc are its functions the first one is national biodiversity authority the things are mentioned in section 8 the head office is at chennai and the present uh, head since 2016 is b meena kumari the structure of this committee or authority is member chairperson ex officio and non officio ex officio are 10 non officio are 5 and one chairperson the structure is among 10 ex officio one is from ministry of tribal affairs and uh, the other section is ministry of environment and forest uh, whom shall be adg or dg uh, then from ministry of tribal affairs ministry of agriculture research and education ministry of biotechnology one one member from each then ministry of ocean development ministry of agriculture cooperation indian systems of medicine and homeopathy science and technology then scientific and industrial resource means one one representative from all these uh, departments will be uh, be the ex officio uh, that too from the end of ministry of tribal affairs the non official five members are from these are specialists and scientists having special knowledge of or experience in sustainable use of either in sustainable use of biological resource or equitable sharing of benefits or conservation creators and knowledge holders of biological resources representative of uh, industry or conservation of biological resources the sections related to nba section 18 it says it shall be the duty of national biodiversity authority to regulate activities and grant approval for undertaking any activity referred to in section 3 4 and 6 section 3 says all foreign national require approval from national biodiversity authority for obtaining biological resources 
section 4 for indian individuals or entities to seek approval before transferring knowledge or research and material to foreigners section 6 says prior approval of nba before applying for any kind of ipr based on research conducted on biological material and or associated knowledge obtained from india functions advise the central government on matters related to conservation of biodiversity sustainable use of its components and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of the utilization of biological resources then advising the state government in selection of areas of biodiversity importance as heritage sites and measures for the management of such heritage sites the NBA may on behalf of the central government take any measures necessary to oppose the grant of intellectual property rights in any country outside India on any biological resource obtained from India or knowledge associated with such biological resource which is derived from India. The second structure is State Biodiversity Board. With the effect from such date as the state government may appoint for the purpose of this act a board for the state to be known as the dash or uh, different state name will be given in the fill in the blanks then biodiversity board for union territory national biodiversity authority will perform the functions of state biodiversity board the board shall consist of the members like one chairperson five ex officio members five members from among the experts in matter related to conservation of biological diversity sustainable use of biological resources and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of the use of biological resources functions section 23 is related to uh, state biodiversity board the functions are advising the state government on matters relating to the conservation of biodiversity, sustainable use of its components and uh, equitable sharing of benefits arising out of the utilization of biological resources, regulating by granting approval or otherwise requests for commercial utilization or biosurvey and biotilization of any biological resource by Indians perform certain other functions as may be necessary to carry out as many be prescribed by the state biodiversity authority biodiversity management committee is the third body the section 41 is related to this every local body shall constitute a biodiversity management committee for the purpose of promoting conservation sustainable use and documentation of biological diversity including preservation of habitats conservation of land races folk varieties and cultivars domesticated stocks and breeds of animals and microbes chrono cleaning of um, knowledge relating to biological diversity the last one is nagoya protocol this is a supplementary agreement to convention on biological diversity to access genetic resources and uh, fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from their utilization to convention on biological diversity this protocol will create greater legal content and uh, transparency for both providers and users of genetic resources by establishing more predictable conditions for access to genetic resources and uh, helping to ensure benefit sharing when genetic resources leave the contracting party providing the genetic resources hope you liked my video and kindly subscribe to get the further updates thank you